Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, what you're looking at is that Marks 898 that arrived yesterday. Now, I used our old friend Easy Off, soaked, <coughs> soaked this in Easy Off oven cleaner, and as you can see, it has removed the paint all the way down to the bare steel. And it also shows you dramatically how the rust gets under the paint. As you can see, this is still absolutely covered in rust. And this was all underneath the paint. And there's absolutely no way to get rid of this other than uh, you can sandblast it or you can simply paint over it now that it's stripped of its paint. And I'm going to paint this red, I think. I'm not really sure yet. But I'm going to finish stripping it and uh, I'm going to use vinegar. So I went up to Dollar Store, Dollar Tree actually. They had uh, these pints of 5% uh, distilled white vinegar for a dollar. So I'm going to uh, de-rust this, put it in uh, vinegar for 24 hours. That'll get 99% of this rust off. And then I will primer it and paint it. As you can see, there's no great amount of damage to it. Uh, it's just covered in rust. And this was under the paint. The paint wasn't missing. The rust was actually underneath the paint. So like I said, easy off oven cleaner. It takes about 20 minutes. And uh, I put this in the uh, bathroom sink sitting just like this. And then you just cover this with oven cleaner. Wait about 20 minutes and you can literally wipe the paint away. And then I just use a Scotch-Brite and uh, scrub the paint off and it takes it all the way down to the bare steel. And of course, that's when you can see how much rust damage there is on this steel. So if you primered this and used a uh, textured paint, you could go ahead and repaint it. But I'm going to do a, a quick uh, de-rust on this. It'll de-rust the bell. It'll de-rust the uh, entire body. It'll also remove any paint that is uh, hiding in the cracks and the crevices. Now, it is missing both of the markers and it's missing the stack. So I don't have the markers. So when this is finished, I'll just fill these with epoxy putty, file them flush, and uh, you won't be able to see them. Now, as far as the stack goes, I went through my parts, and I have this, which was off of a Canadian Pacific. But you'll notice the tabs are in the wrong position. So I'll just take a small Swiss file and recut two new tabs, or slots for these tabs, and install this stack on it. And it'll actually look all right, I think going to be a genuine custom locomotive. Like I said, I'm thinking about painting it red, but uh, we'll see what it looks like when it comes out of the vinegar. So in any case, I'm going to go ahead and, and de-rust this, and I've left the uh, uh, holders for the uh, handrails. I'm going to de-rust them at the same time. And all these are, are cotter pins that have been uh, inserted. The wire goes through them for the uh, handrails, and they're just uh, roughly bent over on the inside. But uh, they're salvageable. There's nothing wrong with them. So I'll just go ahead and de-rust these. That way I don't even have to take them off. I can just slide the handrails back in. So to de-rust this, I'm going to use a one-gallon Ziploc bag. It's really simple to do it this way. And just put the locomotive in the bag just like that. Take our vinegar. This is a brand new bottle. I just ran over and picked this up today to do this with. And then we just pour this directly in the bag. As you see. And this is just about a perfect amount. So, seal the bag, get the air out of it. And then I'm just going to poke a hole in it right there and hang it from a nail. Let me get the air out of this. And you hang this from a nail, and as you see, it completely submerses the shell. So, I'll just let this set for 24 hours. That will completely de-rust it. It will also remove any paint. Now, it's also going to de-rust the uh, tab and slot. It's going to de-rust everything on this. So, it's a really, really simple, quick expedient to... Uh, de-rust a shell after you've taken the paint off. So it's really simple. Anyway, like I said, I just poke a hole in this, I hang it from a nail, and then just let the uh, 
vinegar, soak it for 24 hours, however long it takes, and uh, it'll re remove 99% of the rust. And then pull it out, rinse it, of course, uh, use some uh, baking soda in some water to deactivate the uh, acetic acid in the vinegar, and then a Scotch-Brite, and that will take n literally 99.9% .9 of the rust off of this locomotive. So as you see, it's a really simple way to do this. It's not particularly time consuming. It's fiddly because there's a lot of stuff you have to do. You have to spray it with the oven cleaner, let it set, scrub the paint off, then de-rust it, then primer it, then paint it. And uh, it just depends on how much energy you want to put into this. But it's a great project. It's really simple and you can get a genuine custom locomotive. And in this case, this was free. I sold those two wind up motors that paid for both Commodore Vanderbilts and the 898. And uh, I'll just put a motor back in this once I get it finished. I'll have a custom locomotive. And I might do a series on this, on uh, filling in the holes on the top where the markers were, and then uh, putting the new stack on. It's a great way to use parts, and it doesn't cost anything. That's the nice thing about it. Uh, total um, time involved in this so far is uh, about an hour, and that's basically spraying it with oven cleaner, letting it set, uh, rinsing it off, scrubbing it with uh, Scotch-Brite to get the paint off, and then now de-rusting it in vinegar. So it's really straightforward. It's really easy to do this. And you'd be surprised. You can get some really dramatic results. You can have a really, really nice locomotive, and in this case, it was virtually free. So distilled white vinegar, it's easy to, to use. It does all the work for you. It will remove 99.9% .9 of the rust. And the way this works, acetic acid has an affinity for iron oxide, and it converts it into um, ferric acetate. And it literally, since it's no longer rust, it converts it into a different chemical, and it just literally lifts it off of the steel. So uh, it's going to be straightforward. It's really, really easy to do this. And the vinegar takes uh, does all the work. It just takes uh, some time to do it. So we'll check it in 24 hours. I'll do a video tomorrow before I uh, take it out of the, uh, the vinegar so you can see the difference. As you can see, it is fairly rusty. But this is a really, really simple way to do it. And the nice thing about it is you don't have to do anything physical. You don't have to sandblast it. You don't have to sand it. You don't have to scrape it. You don't have to scrub it. You don't have to do anything. So the vinegar will take the rust off. It will also take any remaining paint off. Then you just uh, rinse this off, deactivate the acetic acid with some baking soda, let it dry, and uh, do whatever else you're going to do to it. In this case, I'll fill in the holes where the uh, markers were, put the uh, or cut the new slots for the new stack. Since I already have it, I might as well use it. So a few minutes work and you can have a really custom Marks locomotive that in this case was absolutely free. So uh, all I've had to do is uh, use the Easy Off oven cleaner. Now one word of warning, do not get this stuff in your eyes. And this stuff is, it'll take the skin off your fingers. This is not something you want to play around with. So what I do is put it in the kitchen or in the bathroom sink. It won't hurt porcelain at all. It's also a great way to, to uh, clean tile like bathroom tile or shower tile that has uh, hard water stains on it. You can just spray this on, let it set for 10 minutes, and literally wipe hard water stains off the tile. It works really well. So anyway, spray the locomotive with oven cleaner, let it set about 20 minutes, use a Scotch-Brite, and it'll just literally wipe the paint away. And as you can see, all this rust was under the paint. The paint was still on this. And then uh, you might want to do it twice, depending on how much paint you get off. But in any, any case, once you put it in the vinegar, the, vin the vinegar will remove all the rust and any remaining paint. And the nice thing about it, of course, is it will also de-rust the tab and slot coupler. It'll de-rust everything on this. So I'll do a follow-up video tomorrow uh, after this has had a chance to soak for 24 hours. But uh, by tomorrow, this will be a uh, bare steel shell. I'll fill in those holes where the markers were with uh, epoxy putty, sand it flush and it will be ready to repaint. So I've got the lens out of it. So once this is finished and it's repainted, it's gonna actually look like a really, really decent custom locomotive. So I may do a project and uh, cover this step by step. It's really easy to do this. And the nice thing about it is in this case, it's free. 
Nothing, it costs nothing but your time. Really straightforward and easy to do. So I just want to do a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Benstrange at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.